Hey, I'm Pete with Moscow Moto. I'm riding for a month right now in southern Chile in Patagonia, and I'm using the Basilisk riding kit, and I'm gonna make a quick video about it. Riding through Chile and Argentina to the southern tip of South America is kind of a legendary route for motorcycle travelers. This winter, I decided to skip out on some of the rain and snow back home in Washington State, fly down to Chile, rent a bike at the northern end of Patagonia, and then ride as far south as I could possibly go. For this trip, I chose the Basilisk because I knew there was gonna be a lot of high-speed riding, so I really wanted a heavy duty, like outer layer with lots of abrasion protection. And I also knew there was gonna be some rain, heavy wind, cold temps. So having the right outer layer was gonna be key to the trip. Starting in the north, I was surprised at all the people in traffic. Right away, I decided I was gonna get as far south as fast as I possibly could. It didn't take very long. Pretty soon the roads turned from pavement to gravel and the scenery just got mind blowing. It seemed like around every corner there was another snow-capped peak or a glacier fed river. On this trip, I skipped towns wherever possible, stopping just for gas, food, and water and then I would look for an empty beach or a clearing where I could pitch my tent. Just like at home, it took a little creativity to find a nice camp spot with water for washing and drinking, a nice view, and something you couldn't see from the road. Every day, I saw riders, I saw cyclists, backpackers, hitchhikers, everybody working their way south. It's great if you have a problem because there's always someone willing to stop and give you a hand. Despite that, I spent a lot of time alone. I kept mostly to myself, cooking my meals instead of eating in restaurants. It stays light till after 10, so it's easy to put in a long day on the bike and then still hunt down a killer campsite and make some dinner at night. At the beginning of the trip, it was sunny and pretty hot. So I was riding with all my vents wide open and my jacket was just rolled up and stashed on the bike. Compared to most adventure jackets, the Basilisk packs really flat so I can tuck it away and just kind of forget about it when I don't need it. The huge thigh vents on the pants provided more airflow than I've personally ever experienced on a waterproof pant. But then after the first week, the weather flipped and suddenly there was nothing but rain, which is actually more like what I was expecting on this trip. I stayed dry and warm in my basilisk, and I had our strata-long underwear and my ectotherm heated jacket underneath. The dramatic weather, rain, fog, and clouds, it really made the scenery come alive. There's no built-in armor on the basilisk, so I love that when I'm not on the bike, I can just wear it around like a normal jacket. The pocket setup is ideal for traveling too. I use the chest pocket to stash my inReach, and then there's two big top-loading cargo pockets on the pants, which is where I put small things I need quick access to during the day. As I worked my way further south and got closer to Ushuaia, the wind got really strong. I was getting blasted from the side by gusts over 50 miles an hour, plus it was chilly and sometimes pretty wet. The internal wind skirt and external flaps on the Basilisk kept it tight and stable, and I cinched up the neck and waist to keep the cold out and all the heat in. There were also lots of animals to worry about, including dead ones off to the side and some cars with really crunched up bumpers. This is why we made the Basilisk so tough. You just never know what's gonna happen. All told, I covered about 3,100 miles on this trip. The riding was easy and fun, and the scenery was just out of this world. Coming from the Northern Hemisphere, summer in Patagonia is a perfect spot for a winter fly-in trip. And in my personal opinion, the Basilisk is the perfect kit for it. Right, I made it to Ushuaia. What an awesome trip. I've had so much fun on this trip. The Basilisk kit has just been a great addition to the journey. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you out there on a trail somewhere.